Hey guys, for uh, today we have the new Rogue One trailer, which was uh, which I was waiting for. I think it was scheduled originally for yesterday, but they they changed it to uh, today, and it was shown in at Comic Con so a while ago, and people expected to be for it to be released around Comic Con for everyone, but it wasn't, and now it was released uh, yesterday night, I think. Uh, in the United States and the Americas, if you will, at night. So I just I watch I already watched it, so it's not really a trailer reaction. But um, but yeah, I just watched it as I woke up. I just went for it because I saw like uh, on YouTube a lot of reactions and things. So I wanted to see the trailer first, and then um, I saw many reactions. Now, I'm going to stop uh, every now and then, so I recommend you already um, go and see it if you haven't. I'm going to leave uh, the link below for in order for those who haven't seen it yet. So, yeah, let's start this. I'm going to... I don't know if I'm, give, if I'm using images, but if I, if I am, just... Uh, I'm going to use some... the ones that I think are most important, so... Let's begin. I'm going to let the sound here. Yeah. I like the ships. The world is calling on them. Imperial flags rain across the And that, that city looks beautiful, like made from the rock. Not on the rock, but from... Let's just get this over with, shall we? We have a mission for you. I think that's the scene that many people have problems with. I'm going to talk about that in a moment. I love that. Part. It's very good that they have Diego Luna here. As Oscar Isaac in Puerto Rico. That part looks like Cloud Wars or something. The captain says you are a friend. How can I kill you? Hmm. Nice. He looks really great, though. Kind of like, yeah, There's much time. Every day they grow stronger. It looks really like a war movie. Uh, some say like Vietnam, for example. I like that, like, the, the flap of the bomb. Are you with me? Hmm. All the way. Yeah, surprise at the end. Um, so, yeah, I... Well, the surprise at the end wasn't really a surprise. I think everyone knew about... I mean, people that were like, Oh my God, it's Darth Vader. Yeah, like, everyone knows that Darth Vader is going to be in the movie. It has been said uh, a number of times, so it's not really surprising. Uh, it didn't surprise me. I was like, okay. Some people wanted like something more out of uh, Darth Vader because it's always like the same shot that it's used from the back. Or something like that. Or his uh, and the Force Awakens, it was his helmet. But yeah, I mean, what else can you use? I mean, he had his moment in the three original movies, and using it, uh, using that character in a different way will be would be something kind of weird. So I think that's why they always use like something really short and really uh, remarkable, like the back of his um, helmet. Now, uh, many people are also not so much into uh, Jean Erso. Uh, I like her, actually, and I like her because she's not likable. It's, it's really weird, but I, I, I'm, I'm done with all those people that are super likable, you know, all those heroes that, that, oh, you just think they're the best. And I think that's one of the few 
things that uh, Batman v Superman had going on for itself, that it portrayed superheroes not as someone, some person or some being that you supported, but as something that you were uh, had a conflict with. Uh, Superman wasn't thr thr trustworthy, or and Batman was kind of weird, and Wonder Woman you don't didn't even know who the hell she was. So. So that was good in the movie, actually, in that movie, and I think it works here. I, I don't get why why people want everyone to be so relatable and so nice from the start. I mean, if she has, I mean, they say um, Mads Mikkelsen is portraying her father and that he had something to do with the Death Star, the creation of the Death Star. I think it's normal that, that she's like pissed off at the world, if you will, and she's shown being a rebel by herself. I mean, her her the screenplay doesn't really give her great lines. I mean, the the ones that we have seen, the only one that I have been like, oh my god, that's good. That it's the one from the the, the that reel they showed at Comic Con where she says, "May the force be with us." I think that line was it's like good like, because it's like the line from Star Wars, but the the I rebel and our all the things, I mean, it's it really annoying. But that doesn't make me not like her. I like her because she's troubled. And I think that's great. I mean, I don't really want another Han Solo, if you want. Someone, some, someone that you like just right away. I don't want that. And I think it's great that she's like that. She's troubled, and maybe she has a journey in the movie in which she discovers that she doesn't really have to be that person uh, a, a, anymore because she, co she comes to realize, I don't know, that her father was was really a good person or that uh, she can help the rebellion or whatever. And uh, I don't know, I think uh, that's why I love the that shot with the TIE fighter. I think that's going to be the the part of the movie, you know? Something that's going on there that I really like. I really like Diego Luna, as I said. I think he, he brings more of the Latino vibe, if you will, than Oscar Isaac, and I like that. I like his accent uh, in the movie. Uh, I like all the uh, secondary characters. Uh, I think they're great. Some people are saying, oh, they really didn't give a scene to Riz Ahmed, but, I mean, they were all almost portrayed, so... Who cares? I mean, you cannot please everyone with these trailers, so uh, that's that's really silly to say whatever it is. I mean, I think it looks amazing. I mean, people are really worried about the reshoots. They are really worried that another director is taking over the editing process because they are re they are redoing it. They are ending it in a different way. They, I mean. It cannot be that different because we all know what happens next, but whatever. And uh, I don't know, I, I, I think it's, it's, it's great, it, it looks great, and I think a lot of people are going to, to go to the movie theater in order to, to see this movie. I actually see it being nominated for a couple of Academy Awards. I mean, the, the, sign, the um, visual effects look really great. The sounds look, look really great. I mean, sound really great, and, and that's the the strong categories for these type of movies. Unfortunately, uh, they are not really considered be beyond that. With the director problem here, it's obvious it won't be up for that. But I, I think it has chances, and it has more much more chances than Suicide Squad or Batman v Superman. And, and yeah, I mean, people love Star Wars, that's the thing, it's a universe that people have uh, learned how to love, no matter if it's the prequels, or the original trilogy, or, or the new ones, the new one that they have released. I mean, people are really waiting for episode 8, they really want to see that now, they, want, they really want to see something, and there are, there are so many actors that are great attached to it, so... I don't know, I think it's going to be, no, maybe not as great as a main, mainstream, let's say, uh, Star Wars movie, but it will be great. I think it will be very good, I think it will be a nice setup for uh, the Han Solo movie, 
movies and uh, whatever they are going to do next. Next, I think, I think uh, Lando Calrissian will be in the Han Solo movies. Uh, I think maybe the Boba Fett movie will be done. That's a rumor, a strong rumor. So who knows? So I think it's great. I really like it. And uh, I don't have any problems with any of the characters, but I think they should have shown Matt, Matt Mikkelsen. Not now that I think about it. I mean, it's really. I mean, uh, unless his participation in the movie is really small, which it probably is. So yeah. Uh, so yeah, whatever. Uh, I, I really like it. I'm waiting for. I mean, from here to December, there must be another trailer. I'm expecting it to be around. October maybe so let's wait for that and I'm waiting for uh, Rebels and I'm waiting for all the new things coming to the Star Wars world so that's it that's my review I hope you uh, let me know what you think actually and uh, comment below like if you like this video and uh, if you haven't seen the <laughs> if you have seen this without the trailer or you want to see the trailer again the trailer is down below for you in order to to check it out once and again and again. I mean, I have seen it like 10 times. So, yeah, in order to catch every little thing. So, yeah, that's it for me. And, yeah, let's hope there's another big trailer coming this week or very soon. Okay, bye.